in a in a world which is increasingly you know dominated by economic priorities ecological priorities and even social priorities take a solid beating so we strive for a future where we understand that human society is a part of a larger ecological whole where there are many other life forms and even non life forms which are fundamental even for human existence our cities fundamentally depend on villages for their food for the supply of water water doesn't come in a tap in a city it somewhere originates in some villages i think we need to see rural and urban in a continuum rather than positioning that this is the rural india and this is the urban india As a child, I every summer we used to go to Eastern Ghats, a wonderful place, lush green forests, tribal people around Koraput, Malkangiri. If you know the geography, thinking back, I think they had a deep influence of you know the final perfect image, always echoing and trying to make the world something similar. my father comes from a engineering background all my uncles were the first generation people who got educated in engineering so interesting conversations at dinner tables about what is a larger common good and how certain people get disenfranchised so these kind of impressions of what is fair and what is not fair were part of the growing up Soon after my graduation from Institute of Rural Management Anand we had this opportunity of uh, you know a campus placement and most of the jobs at least those days were around rural organizations farmers organizations and i remember distinctly when the the managing director then who was interviewing me for this job he asked me why is it that you are interested in this small new initiative whereas we have pretty big ongoing heavily funded initiatives already why couldn't you join that they said that i want to have the same thrills that he had when he started off amul or when he was part of the tamul movement and i want to be a part of something which is new which is imaginative and innovative Foundation for Ecological Security FES in short works for conserving nature and natural resources through coordinated human effort at local levels and at higher levels so as to improve ecological social and economic outcomes FES is positioned around two important tenets one commons as a philosophy the second is a kind of a socio ecological thinking now commons become very very significant because a larger kind of discourse which happened in the last few decades where village people were thought to be incapable of managing shared resources like forests or pastures or even water bodies so as a result of that what happened was excessive centralization or total individualization or privatization instead of that if you can follow also embed 
collective commons as a space, then you have a three pathways kind of a discussion which is good for society. So that is the important space. And the main problem is manifested in our physical understanding of the world or the biophysical understanding of the world. About a quarter of India could be classified as commons. These are forests which are adjoining villages, pastures which are right in the villages, all water bodies. How can a country like India with 1.3 billion people and about a third of them living under poverty afford to neglect or disregard about a quarter of its landmass? That is what FES is positioned to do. In rural India, customarily, people manage these lands quite well. Uh, they have very, very formal rules and regulations, sometimes too harsh, even leading to ostracization in these settings of what is fair, what a woman can harvest, number of trees or what kind of trees, or where the livestock keepers can grow, graze. These are fairly documented. With the way development happened, modern laws came in. Modern laws do not recognize this as formal law. So how do you synchronize the village customary law, which is formal in its own way, to the formal law, which is coming out in the new world? How do you bring about synchronize these two? That is one important area. How do we take technology not only to ease their living in various walks of life, but how can nature-related problems be addressed through technology? That's where we are positioned in. The next half a billion are primarily people who are living in remote areas, who are poorly connected by internet, and also people who are less endowed, mainly women, who may not even have a phone, leave alone a smartphone. And FES is uniquely placed in working with such communities in different geographies of India. And our target for the next five years is to reach 38 million people. Oh, by that I mean, can a village woman monitor the change in her forest, say once in a year, on a simple infographic? Can she know if the infant mortality in her neighborhood has reduced or increased. Using such critical indicators, almost like indices, can we make village people, this half a billion people, take hold of their lives and use technology to make the delta? That's the positioning we are doing. About four, five years into my work life, we held a workshop of village people. People who were initially somewhat against our work, they were not drawn to working with us. But later on, about three or four years later, they became the champions. One of them was uh, a person who was a reasonably well-off farmer. And he said, I don't have anything to do with this work that you're talking about. But three, four years down the lane, he said that he became a champion because the hill that we were greening actually helped the soil moisture on the land which was below. And he owned that land and his peanut crop was much, much better. So he connected it from the agriculture, the need for a forest. Another uh, thing which is important in this area is not, we don't have to be an everything for everyone, but FES could lead from behind on nature and rural development. But if FES technology platform or the way of thinking joins hands with other technology platforms, say, who are working only on poverty or on some insurance or on livestock or markets, then, then this grid of servers, if we can synthesize and make a kind of a simple product, which is end user centric, a farmer centric, then that person doesn't have to look at 10 places to make a change in life. That is the challenge for you know, organizations like us to look beyond our own organization 
but look at the larger calling of this half a billion and serve together, collaborate with one another and fix the problem rather than we becoming an aggrandized organization. A few years ago, I had to go through a surgery, a very major surgery, and I came out lucky. One way I was thinking about life was thanking my stars, or was there an, another opportunity to do something deeper and far more impactful? I think more and more I think about my life, it is to go for that wicked nature of the problem and to see that you make the delta in a strong, enduring manner, I'm dying to do more of that.